Hi. Uh, it's good to see you all again, and thank you for joining us. Uh, this is Rob Durano with New Plan Learning, and we're here with, uh, with Noah Devine, the Executive Director uh, for the uh, Missouri Charter Schools. Noah has decades of service to charter schools. Uh, a really, really wealth of experience and knowledge. Congratulations on on taking over. Thank the you. Here in Missouri. Thank you. Uh, it's an honor to be here. This is the 25th anniversary uh, of uh, of the movement, and so there's a lot of things going on. We want to talk to you a little bit about what is happening and where do you see the future? Perfect, would love to. Uh, Rob, thank you guys, and thanks New Plan Learning uh, for being here. Um, so Missouri is, uh, we're at a critical point, um, much like many other states around the country. We're in our 25th year of charter schools in the state of Missouri, original law, passed in 98. Uh, and you know, some of the things that we're thinking about, you know, here is what is the new new phase of charter schools look like in our state? Uh, our schools are in St. Louis and in Kansas City to date. Um, we're looking at at working with our state to expand charter schools statewide. Uh, and there's some exciting things happening. Um, a couple of things I'll note. One is a recent poll came out from our uh, from the St. Louis University Research Department as well as U.gov regarding um, uh, school choice in the state. Uh, in particular, around that, though, is among likely voters, uh, even within their own school district, families are reporting that they want choice at a higher rate than 50%, and meaningfully wow, higher. That's huge. Um, it's huge. And so yeah. even in our, our quote unquote best school districts, um, that uh, choice is not publicly available yet in the state of Missouri, families are saying, we want an option. And, and that's very much how we're thinking about it here at the association. Uh, so that's a that's a big deal. Um, second thing I want to note is, as many of you all probably saw and know well, Credo published the National Charter School Study, and uh, mm -hmm. what's a couple months ago it came yeah. out. Um, you know, the study found in the state of Missouri, uh, we had about I think it was 39 days of additional learning and reading, and over 50 additional days in math for our charter schools compared to our traditional district schools. Uh, I believe around the country. Of all the states they looked at, I think we were fifth in uh, in both categories for positive, and both were highly positive. Um, so, you know, as as a matter of like what's working, that was really really heartwarming, um, and I think that's a huge piece of the puzzle as well. Uh, and so we're looking forward to continuing that work. So um, it's a, it's a it's a big deal. A lot of great things happening. Uh, in addition to that, there's uh, there's federal uh, right. monies that are coming in for for replication or, or new school start. Yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit about that and, and the association's involvement in that? Yeah, that's right. Um, so uh, we, uh, as a state, uh, received the highest score of any applying entity for the uh, most recent round of state CSP grants. Highest score. Uh, and we think that's a testament to some of the great things happening here in our mm -hmm. state. Uh, the organization that was the applicant is our sort of local harbor master, quarterback, whatever you want to call them, uh, Opportunity Trust. And we're very thankful for that. They uh, helped secure about $35.5 million for wow. charter school yep. expansion here in the state. Uh, the grant calls for 16 projects. Um, of which I believe seven are in year one, uh, and it focuses ranging from expansion, replication, um, mm -hmm. and new as well. And so that's a huge opportunity to help expand some of the good things that we're doing. Um, our, you know, our kind of work on that, you know, project as a um, as a statewide association is we're actually going to be filling the space of what is working at the LEA level to take best practices and help enhance them. So do this. Um, it's called the Community of Practice. Y'all are familiar with those. Um, we'll be leading that work. And then on the technical work of starting a school is obviously where we're quite strong. The business side, ensuring that we're doing everything we, we should be doing. So um, when a school does start or does replicate, it goes well from the outset. I'm going to throw you a curve, curveball yeah. real quick. Uh, because of obviously the Fed increasing rates, uh, cost for, for capital yeah. has gone up substantially, obviously nationwide. This money coming in, uh, to Starbucks is going to be incredibly, incredibly helpful, but they cannot use that for for facilities. That's exactly right. right. That yeah, that's exactly right. And so you know, you can imagine pretty quickly, right? A for sake of discussion, we have a let's say we have a school that is wants to increase their number of seats by you know two or three hundred, and they're doing a great job. They meet all the marks of a you know potential applicant, and the, as the case may be. Um, 
it always comes down to space uh, and, yeah. and, and, and working on, on what is going to work for that school based on their current situation is a, is a tremendous need in our state uh, for our school facilities. Um, and, uh, and how we navigate that and leverage that money alongside of those CSP monies and whether it be philanthropic or state or, you know, other dollars, of course, uh, is, is going to be really mission critical. The last thing we want to do is have, you know, someone ready to go who's doing great work, but then gosh darn it, they just don't have the physical space. And, that, and so we, we're going to seek to avoid that. In the few minutes that we have left, uh, this audience is a national audience that we're, we're speaking with. There are school leaders executive directors, CFOs, management company leaders uh, nationally. And uh, I'd like to ask two questions. The first question is, uh, what are your school leaders uh, asking for most uh, from the association? That's the first question. Yep, a um, couple things. One is like everybody around the country, uh, front and center for, the, uh, for them is how to attract Retrain, uh, retain um, and, and help support their high quality teachers. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, uh, uh, we get different projects, different types of schools, all those sort of things. There is an adult in front of our kids and we need to make sure it's done really darn well. Uh, and, and what are the policies? What are the flexibilities? What are the things that we can do, whether it be pay, development, et cetera, that we can help support them on as an association? That's front and center, and it should be. Um, another big area is uh, that most associations can fill a, a void, and, and we're looking at as well, is the policy and legislative environment. Mm -hmm. um, what is best practice? Uh, what is best reason? Like, what should we need? What do we need to see? What do we need to do? to um, make sure that our educators have what they need to do what they do so well. Uh, and if we can do that well, then, then we're gonna help Sierra, uh, help them push forward and help our state push forward. What do you see happening in the state uh, in the next uh, three to five years? Again, our audience is national. Well, yeah. I wanna kind of push that message out to, what is it that you see? Yeah, so uh, right now, in today, we're uh, in the state of Missouri, we have 36 charter LEAs, about 82 school buildings, about 26,000 students. Uh, when I look to the next three to five years, we would like to have a statewide footprint. We would like to uh, continue to see academics uh, uh, increase and our kids continue to kind of push. Uh, we'd like to see our schools be a, a beacon of innovation to help push our state forward. Uh, you know, something I've said as I've started, I started here in June, is, you know, right now today across the country, it's commonplace for, um, to talk about how, you know, districts have flexibility, uh, sorry, charter schools have flexibilities and, um, you know, different requirements and those sort of things. And some of that is true and some of that is not. But what I would much prefer to say is a much more student centered statement around what is working for our kids. Mm -hmm. And if those things are working and those are occurring in our charter schools, we want those too. And we want to be that beacon and that light in our state where we're pushing, um, we're pushing our state forward and folks are saying, we want that too. Or, hey, that flexibility or that schedule and flexibility, or whatever the case may be, yeah. is we know it's working and we need it and we need to help support our kids and, and we want to lead in that way. That's a perfect segue into my final question. Uh, for organizational leaders that are doing great things in other, other yeah. states, and they want to learn more about uh, and, and build a relationship with you and, and your team, what is the best way for them to, to, to reach out to you guys? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we can, uh, our website's simple. It's mocharterschools.org. Uh, best to, would love to connect with you. Um, uh, it can be found on the website. Uh, emails in divine at mocharterschools.org. Couldn't be easier. Uh, and, you know, as we're, as we're getting going and, and kind of thinking about our work here in the future, you know, candidly would love to learn from you all. Um, uh, there are some great things happening here around the country. Um, and at the end of the day, we're trying to do everything we can to support our schools who are supporting our students. Uh, and we really want Missouri to be a, to be a leader. Um, and so would love to, would love to connect. Thank you very much for your time today. Appreciate Congratulations. You guys. Thank you. On 25 years. Uh, you don't look a year older than 24, <laughs> and uh, and we're we're grateful to to you know New Plan Learning. We're grateful to be a sponsor uh, this year for your, for your conference. Yeah, we appreciate you guys. It's been a long uh, long time partnership, and appreciate y'all. Thank you. So signing off here. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, look forward to us next, uh, or uh, look forward to the next segment coming out, which should be just uh, in another three or four weeks from now. Thank you.